Hey, it's me, Pro Jared, and this is Monster Sanctuary. I actually don't know anything much about it, but the developers had emailed me saying, Hey, Jared, we noticed that you like playing Pokemon style games like this in Temtem. Why don't you check out this? And as far as I can tell from the previews on it, it looks like a cross between. Whoops. Uh, it looks like a cross between Pokemon and Terraria. Uh, I think I'm playing as a lady here. Uh, but I'll be sure regardless. I just like the blue. I thought it looked nice. I really like the pixel art. The Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Okay. Most of the people in the Monster Sanctuary live in the Keeper's Stronghold. Do I get to build my own stuff too? I think I do. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. Oh, look at that, I'm Rishi. They call themselves Monster Keepers. I like the slime friend who has a little three for a mouth. Yeah, like, look at these. These are cool. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. Oh, uh... Spectral Wolf, Spectral Eagle, Spectral Toad, or Spectral Lion? I like the Toad the least. Um, let's do the Eagle. He looks cool. Oh, uh, my rivals. Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Jurd is starting out to become a monster, keeper like her ancestors before her. As with all starting monster keepers, her journey begins on the keeper's trail. Her bloodline's familiar bears the form of a spectral eagle. Okay. This is cool. I really like this animation. Oh, name my familiar. Eagle? More like... Uh... D... 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 Can I just type it? No. Uh... D... Din... 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 Danilia. Danilia. Let's go, Dinalia. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with her family. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you, just as I will, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Spill them over there. Uh, explorability flying? Levitate the player. Tight. All right. Oops. Oh, uh. Oh, what's this? Hold on. What's this keyboard to move or shit? Yeah, that won't do. One second. All right, that's better. I fixed it. Okay, here we go. Uh, hello. Um, click. Uh, go! Okay, uh... Let's see, three times 60%, 100%, 80%, or one uh, explosion? Yeah, get him. <laughs> Slime shot. Poison? Ah, oh, just get out of here. Uh, feather storm. Extra damage is that resistance. Victory! Rare loot chance 40%, that's cool. I got a blob egg! That's rare! And some stuff. You got some experience points? Okay. There you go, you received a blob egg! Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and hatch it. Okay. Blob egg. We're gonna hatch a blobby boy. Oh, that is instant. Okay. Blob! Blob! More like... Polorb. 
on, Paul Orb. Paul Orb and Danilia. This is your first monster you hatch by yourself. Right now, it is weak, so you'll need to train it. There is much more for you to learn. You and that blob are quite alike. Hey! Let's continue on the Keeper's trail. It will lead us to Old Burn, an old friend of mine. He is a patient teacher to all young Keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Alright. Let's go. How do, you, how do you make me float? Oops. Uh, float! Uh... Blob. Okay. To the mountain path. Well, I do need to train them up, so... Can I fight both of you at the same time? Got Polar Orb and Delilah. Looks good to me. Oh, I can. Awesome. Okay. Whoa, Arcane Bolt and Heal? Okay. Uh, pew pew! Arcane Bolt! Magic! Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Um... Items, attack, enemy info. It's weak to thunder and resists water. Okay. Weak to thunder, eh? That's well, a good thing I got this lightning bolt. Do I have anything that can, like, hit both? Doesn't look like it. Uh, physical damage or magic damage? Do magic damage. Sure. Lightning bolt! <laughs> oh, a couple crits in there. Wrecked. It's really compelling, even in, like, this 2D scape. Boop, boop, boop. You know what? Polarb's doing his best. And more... Bzz, 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 bzz. Ow, son of a bitch lived. And he's healing! Um... Just more arcane bolts? How fine! Good job, Polarb! Feather Storm! <laughs> Victory! Got a green gem, small potion for healing, and some money. I like the more like RPG aspect of like collecting materials and stuff. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of one to five stars. Earning a higher rating gives you better stuff. Got it. Ah, let's go. Oh, hello. Young Keepers, tis the creepers, Keeper's Trail beginning. For all of man, beast, and sanctuary has beginning. Oh. oh look. What is that? Is that a cat or pillar? Come here. Oh, magma pillar. Still pretty cool. I kind of want one. Eh. Uh. Weak to water, resist fire, makes sense. And the other guy, weak to fire. Both weak. Alright, so I don't really have anything that's particularly helpful against them. But I can uh, explode this guy with explosion! <laughs> Follow up with the arcane bolt! Boop, 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 boop. I didn't do much. I should have just had him hit the magma pillar. Oh, defense up. Punch combo. No, oh, pull orb! Just use explosion to fish off that rocky. Boom! Dead. And when arcane bolt through your his shield. One crit. Ah, oh, you can't ignite my bird. My bird is fire. But no, my bird is on fire. Whoops. Uh, heal him? Here you go, friend. 69! Nice. Um. I guess lightning bolt, because I think this gets through barrier. Right? Arcane bolt seems to be like the scratch of this game. Barrier received 20% less damage. Okay, so it doesn't really matter on the attack. Just, it'll reduce all attacks. This is cool. Again, like the super smooth pixel art and just the neat monster design is awesome. And then I get some stuff. Oh, I got a magma pillar egg. We're hatching that shit. Oh, you leveled up? As your monsters gain experience in combat, they are increasing level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should look at the skill tree menu. Okay. Uh, skills. Oh, you don't just, like, learn moves you level up. You get, like, tiered skills. Improve mana rating by one. Increase damage to Feather Storm. Hybrid Shield. 
crit chance plus, attack plus. Uh, or just might, which gives buff. Um, might buff to whole party. Um, bigger explosion. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, hold on. Uh, inventory, magma pillar egg, hatch him! Yay, magma pillar! Buggy boy! Your name is not magma pillar, Joe. Your name is... Lava... Lava... Lava's Lava's ass? Lava's ass. Whatever. Oh, you have a skill point already? You're already level two, okay. Uh, skills. Okay, so you have Ignite and Barrier. Shield. Which is separate than Barrier? And Aura. All monsters in the party we see deal 5% more damage as a passive. That's pretty cool, nice support. Burning Desire, Ignite. Improve Magic Rating by one. Just get the Arcane Bolt. Um... Let's just get you empower. Might stick with pole orb for now, though. Since uh, Lava Shaz doesn't have a whole lot of attacks at the moment. You're a treasure! Give. Cestus. Wait. Uh. Oh my god, you can equip him. Um. Uh, Alright, Nilia. Put on this Cestus? Plus 15 in defense, that's pretty good. Wow, so it's like Pokemon, but it's also got full-on RPG elements like equipping them. That's nuts. Okay, there's a lot to this game. Hello! Hey, friend. You're just starting as a keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monsters? You can make them stronger by equipping them. And a kunai? With or without chain? Increased mana regen. Okay. Ooh, I want that. Can I? Ooh, can I? Hmm, I wonder if I need to, uh... Is that gonna be like, you must find a monster with the, the skill to get me up there? That's gotta be it, huh? Hello. Hey, fellow keeper, just know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability. You can use familiar's ability to fly the chest up there. Oh, it's, I just press F. Oh, there we go. Yeah, more treasure. Hide. Some armor? Let's, let's be real. Pole Orb needs it. Accessories. Hide. Yeah. Denelia's defense is 40. Pole Orb is only 27. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, I can't have three in combat? Oh, hell yeah. Which means that buff that I just put in is going to make sense. You're resistant to lightning, so... Uh, uh, ignite! Burn! And since they seem to be weak to lightning, so I'm lightning bolt in order. Dead! Ah, don't heal the bird, I was just trying to do stuff to him. No! Lava shares! Man up, okay, uh. Stop the heals. Kill your brethren! Focus our deeps! So as I combo, then my damage rating goes up. So like every hit just... Yeah, every hit just increases like the next person's damage. So like the order I do this in matters. So like to maximize my damage, I want... I want, uh, Danilia to go last here. Kaboom! Got him. Oh, four ratings! Uh, no rare items, just some copper. But Pole Orb leveled up! Thank God. Alright, sir. Let's see, Acid Rain gives an armor break. You also have Slime Shot. Earth damage implies poison. Um... Oh, wait, you have Arcane... Under the same Arcane Tree, you can also get Bubble Burst? 
4 times 40% of your power versus 4 times 35%. Or 3 times 55. 165, 160. I kind of like that armor brick. Let's get Acid Ring. It also makes me think of Secret of Mana, so... I'm in on that. Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, later by steam and steel. Nice poem. Ha! Oh, hello, sir! Bracelet. Defense and mana regeneration. Uh, let's get the lava stats. He currently has the weakest health and stats right now. Uh, you're cool. Come back. Oh, damn it. Oh, 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 Jesus. It fell so far. Hold on. Um, right to keep her stronger or left to keep her trail. Treasure? A gauntlet. Plus 12 defense and some crit chance. More... More focus on the defense and the crit chance, really. Oh, mini birds. Get over them! Just trying to explore. Ooh, ha! Diadem! 10 defense, 25 mana. What does it say? Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond, yet for the treasures within he longed for the great greed of kings was great. I am a king. I do want money. <laughs> ah. Oh, and I'm on this. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, acid rain. Brr, brr, brr. Armor break. So now you should be really easy to kill. We'll let. Uh, this. Oh, so close. Uh, even if it defends, it should be enough. Got him. Frickin' barriers. Stop punching! Good sound effects. Uh, I don't want those barriers to hang around, and this will cause an armor break that get rid of the barrier, or at least enough. Okay. You're gonna go first. Because that at least will combo up. Uh, lightning bolt damage. Oh my god, it's alive. Damn it. Leaf slash! Um. Okay, let's just... Ah, oh, shoot. How do I want to do this? Okay, ignite. Kill you. Causing the burn. Um, I guess... He's got three hit points. Just kill it. And then we'll have Danelia's ex level two explosion hit you. Pop! Oh, and the burn killed him. Awesome. A helmet? Plus 10 defense, plus 10 attack. Ooh. Who's... All right. Let's see. You have attack 31. Polarb is attack 42. So Polarb is actually a better attacker than Lavashes. So we might as well get you equipped up with a hat. There you go. Um, Danila, you got nothing on, so have a diadem. Tight, let's go. What if I should head back to the town? Or get these treasures! Orb. Morningstar. Damn it. Trying to get around him. Um... I know they do heals. But I feel like we can combo and take this guy out now with all of our fire attacks. An explosion? Focus your deeps! You poison me? Alright, slime shot is earth, so it gets around the water resistance. Is it worth just doing it for the armor break, or should I just... No, it's bolt. Probably overthinking these early battles, right? Squishy, squishy. 
Really, explosion, not enough to kill him. Well, it looks like lightning bolt's my most effective thing against them with their lightning resistance. Burn kill? Yeah! Oh no, pull orb! Hang in there, buddy. I could see how they could very easily run out of mana. Like, that little purple bar. Pretty low. I like the mana system rather than just like power points or anything similar. Burn kill? Nope. False. Have they been getting healed between fights? I think they have, right? Yay! Bloop, 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 bloop! Got him! You did it, Polar Ball on your own! Did you get final kill experience? Oh, level ups all around! Um, Acid Rain level 2 hits four times now. I can just increase Arcane Bolt for an extra hit. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 35% of magic value. Do that. Okay. Um, you got that buff. Regeneration and bear. Oh, puts barrier on the party, but gives regeneration to rain a monster. Not into that. Burning desire, a unique aura. Apply a shield to the party when an enemy receives a burn, equal to 4% of each monster's maximum health. Hmm. So use ignite to set a burn on them, which gives the burning desire, uh, like health shield on everyone. That's cool. Let's do that. I like that. I like when it says like unique. Like, hey, no one, no other monster has this skill. Uh, I've been using lightning bolt quite a bit. Let's improve that. Um, status. They must be, they must be healing up because they would show their hit points right here, right? They don't seem to be lowered. I like this map. Man plunged into the deepest abyss, forage, attacked, and slew. Those endeavors without solace, the cost on humanity nobody knew. Uh, do you, I can bring this jump back up, right? Yeah. If I go back up this way. Oh, oh, yo. Um. Don't seem to be have a way of getting through this right now. Okay. I'm a little afraid to keep going down. Uh, maybe I should go back to town. This might be a cool game to Nuzlocke. Just because I don't know anything else about it. No one knows anything about it. Oh, that looks good. Hello. Hello, young ma uh, monster keeper. Your first time on the keeper's trail? This is a teleporter stone. Oh. Wh what are you buying? Sustain ring, shell, phoenix tear, small potion. Uh, I don't have that much money, so nothing. I want those treasures down there. Three phoenix tears. Glad I didn't buy that. What's over here? Oh, hello. Uh, generally you can change around your monsters falling around. This allows you to use different monster abilities while exploring. Oh, yeah. You. What do you do? Oh, you burn these away for treasure! Give it to me. Money. Red gem. Level 1 rare upgrade material. Alright, what's Polarb do? Gives him a bath. Okay. Try to keep up, nerd. Oh, so not only do you got all these different combat abilities, but all the monsters have something they can do for exploration. That's cool. So they basically all have like a built-in HM, as it were. Ah, fuck. Come on, that treasure. Oh, damn it. Platforming's hard. Impact ring, crit damage plus 20%. Danilia. So whenever you crit, which is currently 10%. Ooh, didn't I have someone with something that increased crit chance? The gauntlet gave 5%. Hmm, yeah, sorry, poor lord. I'm gonna take that gauntlet from you. 
Because quite frankly, increased crit chance with increased crit damage on my most damaging person sounds tight. Okay. All right. Uh, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to do another episode of this, but I'm super into it. What do you think so far? I think it's kind of neat. I would like to... I'm curious enough to see at least a little bit more, so... I'll do that, but let me know what you think of this so far in the comments down below for at least the first episode. Uh, it should be available on Steam uh, by the time you see this, but Monster Sanctuary, let's check out some more. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time! <laughs>